Money is energy, guys. It has its own mind. If you're not detailed about how you're going to spend it, how you're going to use it, if you're not a good shepherd to that money, money's not coming. It's not going to come to be wasted. Finance, same thing, guys. Dig into finance, and, and, and all of these are the same. We have to dig deep on all of them. But finance, what I see, one of the biggest things I see when people set finance goals is they don't, once again, think it all the way through. They come in here, they set a goal of $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, whatever it may be, um, $20,000, $30,000, 40000 50000 whatever it is for you guys. I mean, we have students doing all kinds of different um, finance uh, levels. But what they forget is like, what does it cost to do it? How much of your time is that really eating up, right? It's like, how, like it, everything plays into this. So when you get into finance and we're, we've done family already, we've already done fitness, we know that's going to take a little bit of time. So now we're into finance and we're like, okay, what's realistic? What is it that I can put in the least amount of time and make the most amount of money, right? And really make it happen. How much, like if, I, if I'm setting a $10,000 a month goal, I'm not going... Hey, $10,000 a month goal is what I want to take home. And now that's the only goal I have. No, if I want to take home $10,000 a month, if that's my take home, I'm going to break down. Okay. I know SEO. I'm going to freaking outsource for 25%. So I'm not doing it. So really 75% is what I'm going to be taking home because everything's outsourced either to the store. Um, I'm hiring somebody to do it, whatever it is for you. Right. But I know that 25%. So I don't, I can't make $10,000. I have to make $12,500 to take home $10,000, right? And then I'm digging in even further, right? I'm going super hard in the paint um, and really like digging in those finance goals of how I'm going to get there. Is it going to be lead gen? Is it going to be ads? Is it going to be um, website builds? What is it within digital marketing, within the tools that you're given? What is it that's going to create that result, Right. What is it that I'm going to go after? Is it a box package where I'm going to offer this one niche, a uh, freaking, you know, $3,000 website build. They get to choose from five of them. So it saves me more time. And then they get, you know, 20 links per month. And these are the links. Here's the hundred links I'm going to go get. So it saves me time. I don't have to go find them every single time. It's like really dig in and not just say how much money you're going to make and what you're going to buy with that money. Right. Cause you know, dirt bikes, house, dirt bike track for the kids, all the fillings that you're going to get out of those finances and what you need over in those other goals. That's all fine and dandy, but really dig in, dig in how you're going to make the money. What steps are you going to take? Where are you going to go with it? How are you going to spend it? Right? Really dig in. Okay. Because if you're making $10,000 a month, I doubt you're just sticking away in your bank account. Right? There's ways you want to spend it. There's a reason you want to make $10,000 a month. That's why I tell you guys, go through family, go through fitness first, because now it's going to tell you, hey, I want to take my family on four vacations a year. It's going to cost this. When I really start breaking it down, I know where, where I'm going on vacation, how much it's going to cost, how many days we're going to be on it. I want to buy four wheelers before we go, right? Or I want to rent kayaks while I'm there. I know every little detail of what I'm doing. So I can save up that money. I can get that money. I can obtain that money, right? Money is energy, guys. It has its own mind. If you're not detailed about how you're going to spend it, how you're going to use it, if you're not a good shepherd to that money, money's not coming. It's not going to come to be wasted. It's not going to come, come to be disrespected. So you've got to spend time here and go deep on these finances and figure out not only how you're going to spend it, but how you're going to make it and what steps you're going to take. What are you going to offer, right? Where's that value that you're offering to the world to get that money back? And we got to go deep here so that we can make it happen, right?